Hey, how's it going everybody? My name is Buckeye. Welcome back to another brand new Call of Duty video here on the channel. So this is going to be my first ever video on the brand new Call of Duty 2019 title, Call of Duty Modern Warfare. Just as a disclaimer, before we go any further, this video is going to be talking about everything we know about the 2019 title. There's not going to be any gameplay, whether it be from a previous title or from Modern Warfare. So if you guys are looking for gameplay, you're not going to find it here. I'm sorry, okay? But if you guys are looking for valuable information on the Call of Duty 2019 title, Call of Duty Modern Warfare, then this is the video for you. So at the time of recording this video, it is currently June 3rd and we have been given a ton of information on Call of Duty Modern Warfare. So what we're going to do in today's video is completely break down what we already know about the game because there is a lot going on here. There's a lot to talk about. So let's jump right into it. So first things first, I'm going to be summarizing what Charlie Intel has to say. So huge shout out to Charlie Intel over on Twitter. They're at Charlie Intel. They are the number one source of Modern Warfare leaks. Pretty much the second that new information becomes available about Call of Duty Modern Warfare, it is available on the Charlie Intel Twitter as well as on their website, charlieintel.com. So first things first, and some could say most importantly, Call of Duty Modern Warfare is available October 25th, 2019 on PlayStation 4, Xbox One, and PC. It's developed by Infinity Ward with PC version developed by Beanox and additional development support from Raven Software. So contrary to popular belief and what I originally thought was going to be the case when I first saw the title, this is not a remaster of Call of Duty 4 Modern Warfare. This is what they're calling a reimagination of the game. So it's going to have a couple of the same characters and storyline parts returning, but it's mostly going to be a completely new storyline, and the title of the game is actually pretty fitting for this one. It's going to be about Modern Warfare. There is no more of that jet packing, wall riding, stealing your kill streaks action. It's going to have to do with modern events and things that are up to date currently. Modern Warfare will support 4K and HDR on the PlayStation 4 Pro and the Xbox One X alongside full suite of PC features to be announced. So moving right on into the modes, as of right now, we really only have two modes announced, which is campaign and multiplayer. We also have some co-op uh, leaks down here in news, but let's be honest. I mean, how many of you guys are really here to hear about co-op? So kicking things off with campaign, the official description reads, the stakes have never been higher as players take on the role of lethal tier one operators in a heart racing saga that will affect the global balance of power. Developed by the studio that started it all, Infinity War delivers an epic reimagining of the iconic Modern Warfare series from the ground up. In the visceral and dramatic single player story campaign, Call of Duty Modern Warfare pushes boundaries and breaks rules the only way that Modern Warfare can. So like I said before, this game is not a sequel nor a prequel. It's a brand new story with no connection or impact from the original Modern Warfare trilogy. Infinity War had suggested that they were already kind of too deep in the Modern Warfare 1, 2, and 3 storyline to continue on that. So they've gone ahead and done something completely new. This is not a sequel nor a prequel. This is a completely different storyline. Locations in the game include different places across Europe and the Middle East, and the story is based around events that are happening in our world over the last few years. Your tier 1 operators, your Arab soldiers, rebel fighters are all confirmed to be a part of the game, and Captain Price is returning, but there's going to be a new voice actor for the role. You'll get to play the campaign from Arab soldiers' perspective as well as the rebel fighters. We do have hints that Soap might be returning, but again, it could be a new voice actor, it could be something completely different we really don't know yet. So the game is built on a brand new engine with new audio and animation support. It also features physically based material system allowing for state of the art photogrammetry, a new hybrid tile based streaming system, new PBR decal rendering system, world volumetric lighting, 4K HDR, direct X ray tracing, and more as well as a new GPU geometry pipeline. Wow, that was a freaking mouthful and we have a lot to talk about just in that pull up point there. The campaign is very emotional and troubling with missions pushing the boundaries of what's right and wrong and the progression in campaign mode will transfer between co-op and multiplayer which is pretty important. So moving on to multiplayer, we don't actually have too many leaks here but the official description reads experience the ultimate online playground with classic multiplayer. This is going to be the first Call of Duty title ever to feature crossplay between PlayStation 4, Xbox One, and PC. And I'm so freaking excited to say that. There will not be a traditional season pass and post-launch maps will be free. Call of Duty Modern Warfare will have operators, but they have no special abilities. Each operator has his own backstory, cosmetic, voice lines, and more. And certain additions of Modern Warfare include bonus operator packs. Online will support up to 20 players, which is a huge upgrade from Black Ops 4. Progression and multiplayer mode will transfer between co-op and campaign, which we just talked about for a campaign. And we will have many more details to be revealed a lot closer to launch. Like I said, we're still really far in advance. This is only June. This game's not coming out until October, so we still have months in advance. We're going to get a ton of leaks, a ton of information. It's going to be a really, really fun couple of months. Finally, moving down to co-op, we have the official description leads as squad up and play cooperatively in a collection of elite operations accessible to all skill levels. There is going to be no zombies mode, and the co-op mode will tie into the single player story. The developers over at Infinity Ward said co-op will feel part of the entire game. I don't know how much truth there is to that. If it does, then I'm thoroughly, really excited to do it. But I mean, there have been plenty of other Call of Duty games in the past that featured co-op, and they just, they get lost in all the things that there is to do inside of Call of Duty. And again, we have more details to be revealed closer to launch. So last but not least, I'll go ahead and talk about the editions of which you can pre-order the game. So you have the standard edition, which is going to get you the game with a custom tactical knife and one prestige token for use in Call of Duty Black Ops 4. The game's going to run you $59.99 or $60 USD, which is the exact same price as any other Call of Duty game that you've ever purchased in your life. The operator edition is where things start to get interesting. So we're given the base game with a custom 
game tactical knife the same as the standard we're also given the all gillied up operator pack as well as a crew expendable operator pack a war pig operator pack and a prestige token to use in black ops 4 so we're given three extra operator packs there now again there is no advantage to using these operator packs they are strictly cosmetic they're just kind of a uh, an addition to the game to kind of make things more personalized and finally we have the big daddy all the way at the bottom the operator enhanced edition that's going to get you the game with the knife the all gillied up the crew expendable the war pig operator packs as well as 3,000 call of duty points when the game actually dropped and then the coolest edition in my opinion is the precision edition which is available in limited quantities and regions for 99.99 or 100 us dollars that's going to get you the call of duty modern warfare base game the custom in-game tactical knife the all gillied up the crew expendable the war pig operator pack the call of duty endowment calling card which is in the usa only you also get the steelbook and two control freak packages you get control freak performance thumbsticks as well as a control freak controller skin which is so freaking cool to me that Call of Duty is partnering with companies like Control Freak for something like that. As far as I'm concerned, this is the first time in history that Control Freak has kind of partnered up with Call of Duty for a drop like this. And that's really, that's honestly really cool to see. But that is pretty much going to wrap up today's video, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you guys did enjoy or you learned something new. Just remember, guys, it's still very early June at the time this video is going to drop. We're going to get hit with a lot more information before the game actually comes out in October. If you guys are excited for Call of Duty Modern Warfare and want to keep up to date with all kinds of news, leaks, and updates, remember to subscribe to the channel and turn those post notifications on so you guys never miss a new upload when it goes live. I'm also live every single night on Twitch. You can find me over at twitch.tv slash obuckeye with two H's. We're live playing Fortnite, Black Ops 4, and Modern Warfare when it comes out. So I will see you guys there. And with all that being said, guys, my name is Buckeye. I hope you guys did enjoy today's video once again. I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace.